What's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, I just want to thank all of you guys for maybe telling everybody, you know, about my channel, uh, subscribing, liking the video, leaving comments and ideas. You know, I really appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. Um, it helps me, you know, pump out better content for you guys specifically. Um, and uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Um, I try and upload at least every two to three days, sometimes even every other day. And, uh, you know, you don't want to miss that. So turn on post notifications so you're going to find whenever I make any time of videos. And again, this is for you, not for me. Alright? Um, but uh, today's video is pretty simple. We're just going to be going over uh, custom theme head or something like that. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, oh, how do I inject? And that's actually never something that, you know, I went into. Uh, so first off, uh, when... Well... A couple tricks. Uh, first, you have uh, Alt Tab. Alt Tab is that way you can, you know, pick whatever you're gonna, uh, you know, whatever window you're gonna go to. And this is great for if you want to, you know, uh, move this. So when you're in game, notice how my mouse can't like grab that at the top. When I click Alt Enter and I hold Alt, now I can click it and move it around. All right. So let's just put that back. Uh, and this is great for if you want to tab out and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm running OBS over here. You know, I got my Discord running over here. Uh, really, 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 really good for when you want to be, you know, uh, for, well, for one, multitasking, and two, I'm going to show you another great, great reason why. Um, so come down here. Let me alt tab real quick. And there it is. And now, as soon as you inject this, um, have it on the front, and this is the auto injector. Uh, it works the same way with the regular injector, though. Uh, as soon as it goes to uh, the countdown, you're just gonna want to wait for a little bit. I don't know, maybe go back, go, <laughs> go in the back of your house, get a bag of chips or whatever. I don't know. Um, but as soon as it hits somewhere towards uh, six, and you can do this in game and out of game. I'm gonna show you how. As soon as it hits six, five, four, three, two, one, whatever, you're gonna want to wait. It's gonna do its thing. Click back on the screen. Go online. That's as simple as that. And now this works online, like when you're already in the game. Um, and uh, I'll show you how that works here in a second as well. All right. So uh, now that you're in, in your in your in your game, right? Uh, let's say you want to load up your menu. Like as soon as you get into the game, because to be honest, when you load your menu, like I showed you before, um, while the game is loading itself, it takes a little bit longer. But it took me about I don't know two minutes to load up to online. But then again, it depends on your internet. Uh, my internet is okay, I guess. Uh, but as soon as you load in, it's pretty simple what you do now. You're gonna come over to where is it? You're gonna come down here, do the alt tab trick I showed you. Go. Wait for that to load in, and now while that loads in, you're just going to want to pretty much wait, and uh, you're going to see the little black bar in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but that means it's just it's about to start injecting here soon. You can actually take a peek and see how long it's going to take. So uh, we'll just sit here and wait for a couple seconds, um, and what it's going to do is, uh, as soon as it loads up. The block, there you go. The box is going to come in the front. Um, and again, make sure it's always in the front. Click back on the game, keep clicking escape, hit alt tab, get back into the game, click escape like a, a little bit more, maybe like a, two or three times, uh, and just sit here and wait. Uh, and once it's done loading, or a good, you know, way to. You figure out if it's loading is if you are able to even um, like if you if you can't see your mouse so if I go like this and I click it notice how my mouse disappears but I can still hear the audio of the game so that means you didn't crash um, I was kicked oh man it's probably that's that's one thing though that's one thing about loading um, online and loading while you're loading online if you load online uh, like while you're playing uh, or during a game if other people have menus that detect uh, impulse it's gonna kick you out the game most likely so that's the only downfall but um, I don't get that you know that much you know but it happens and you heard the little the little ding noise that's because um, 
my menu loaded up of course uh, and now that loaded up I should just throw me into another online session um, through the menu um, you're gonna, you're gonna look, you're, there you go all right I was about to say you're gonna load me in pal but it's all good uh, so as soon as you are loaded in um, there you go that's pretty much it and, oh and I had a lot of people ask me oh when I'm like this you know uh, you know how I showed you how you can come up here and you can move it? We well, actually cannot click that button. Um, and going in the settings, that's too much. Well, there's a shortcut key that not a lot of people know about. It's called uh, Alt Enter. Tap Alt Enter. Uh, hit Escape a couple times. There you go. Because when you tap Alt Enter, it's gonna it's gonna freeze it for a second. Tap Alt en Alt Enter again. You're not gonna be able to see anything. Um, I usually just tap Escape a couple times. Uh, sometimes that does the trick. But um, now that we're in a session, I can show you guys. Uh, I, I found out a lot more uh, about customizing themes and stuff like that. I've had a lot of people ask me, "Oh, how do you get rid of the uh, this this little thing? Right? You know, you know, like the little icon, right? How do you get rid of that?" Um, I don't want to go into settings and go to theme and do and go like that and do all that dumb stuff. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, and of course, you know, I'll elaborate more. On uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to settings. You're going to go on to uh, hide on screen elements. Over here you can hide a bunch of stuff. Hide IP addresses. Um, you, can, you can basically just hide a lot of stuff. Uh, I can hide the tooltip bar at the bottom. Uh, I can edit on screen stuff. And this is what's really cool. Uh, you can actually change the button um, to open it up. So for me, it's my right button and um, what my right uh, D-pad, right? Uh, but you could change however you want. The mouse toggle key is X, like I said. So I come over here and open oh, using my mouse. Back to regular, back to mouse. Um, show on-screen elements when open. Allow gameplay, and of course, you could save all of these by simply clicking F11. Uh, you can say hack face stuff like that. Um, I try not to, but you can. All right. So what can you do? Ah, here it is. So you can remove the outline. So that that pretty much removes like all of the outline on the on-screen stuff. So you see in the corner. It's like really hard to see. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see it that well. But it's basically the um the the little thing in the corner. It's kind of glitching out right now. Uh, so you have, so it, this will add an outline to some on-screen elements. Uh, it doesn't really, it's not really noticeable, but it does it. Uh, this, that pretty much just gets rid of the outline around certain things. So you notice how I got rid of the outline over there. So I'm guessing this one's, they're still working on, but this one works clearly. Uh, you can edit the color. Uh, I think I already went through that in uh, uh, a really old video. Okay, so you have Rainbow Trainer. These are some things that a lot of people know, a lot of people uh, don't know. Colors, toggles, makes toggles like that. Uh, animation to the arrows. Um, this this will just use animation first, like that. You can turn it on or off; it doesn't really matter. Uh, rainbow colors for pretty much everything. Uh, notify logo. That's the logo that pops up in the corner every single time. Somebody tries to kick me. The footer logo. This is what one of the people in my comments asked me if I can get rid of. And unfortunately, they don't have the option to get rid of it. Uh, I can only change it from flat to default. Um, the header. If you actually want to change your header, if you go right into the menu theme, you could do it here. Or you can come down over here. And you can go like that. But, oh, I actually have my, I think I have mine turned off, that's probably why. Yeah, I have mine turned off. But, um, you can set it to that, and now, whenever you come down here, that's my default. So, pause, and then, yeah, there you go. Um, what else can you do? Oh, the transparency for the bottom, that's one thing that you could do. So at the bottom, uh, you could actually make it uh, completely transparent. Um, and I, I kind of I actually like the, the transparent look because the icons are like a little bit, a little bit like less noticeable. It's still there, but um, like you can change the header, transparency, 
um, you can actually change the, the, the transparency period uh, the, the completely transparent background kind of looks clean uh, you know because you know having it having it like this that looks so annoying uh, and then you can bump the transparency down to like be semi transparent I personally like the semi transparent but um, some days I like it like this because it just it, it looks it looks better um, that's how you do that what else we got uh, sub footer transparency we got that one trainer text all this does is this pretty much just adds uh, the color to what you want it to be scroll a lot of this stuff I, I, I went through before uh, if you guys want like more what's the word for it? like a, a more description uh, of you know what everything does I have a video called uh, making your own uh, custom theme and impulse uh, if you want to go and check out that video that video is is pretty explanatory it tells you uh, everything you need to know um, other than that uh, we have some other options over here we have some miscellaneous options that a lot of people don't know about we're just going to talk about that real quick uh, report stats you can come over here and you can pretty much see uh, you know what your what your stats are at when it comes to uh, reports and stuff like that you can see your disables I like to disable um, idle kick and uh, game recordings you can turn off other stuff like your phone loading screens uh, cinematic button you know stuff like that uh, what else what else you can change your point of view you can bypass talking restriction but nobody really talks on this dev mode is really nice um, shows that you're a developer so you're less likely to be looked at as a modder uh, especially from other modders uh, cause it, so that's this is kind of like this is kind of like a, a like a fail safe almost. If there's other people in your session that are modders and you kind of want to you know stay low key, turn this on, you'll be fine. I've had a lot of people say, oh, this and the other, we can't get to our house when we turn on all the protections on stuff like that. One of the main reasons why you can't get to your house, which I'm 100% sure. Because I tested it multiple times, is the Rockstar ID spoofing and IP spoofing. Whatever you do, if you're trying to play the game into your house, do not turn these two options on. I've ran through all of these options to figure out which one it is. It's actually not any of these. It's actually just the, the Rockstar ID and IP spoofing. So if you want to do stuff that um you know that's like in-game activities such as I don't know uh, picking up your car. Whenever I turn on the IP, whenever I turn on the IP, I'm actually able to come over here and I'm able to get in my house, right? So whenever, whenever I turn the IP, I can't get in my house, but when I turn it off, I can't get in my house. Sorry, I had a tongue twister. I'm saying IP too much. So, or we're getting your garage like that because a lot of times when you turn on your protectors on, it actually prevents you from using your phone if you guys haven't noticed, or your phone will do that glitch where... Um, it's a completely black. It's like calling like Lester or like Mrs. Baker or something, and it's kind of just jumping around and uh, making like a bunch of beeping noises. To get rid of that, I usually just open up my menu, hit you know escape a couple times, and then it'll go away. All right, so I'm actually glad I'm still loading because uh, this brings up another issue, um, and that is sometimes whenever you turn on all your protections and you do it in game without changing your session you actually get stuck in a um, in a black screen so i'm actually just going to oh or maybe it's gonna work nope uh, i'm actually yeah input too short yeah so I, I i was unable to to do it because i turned on my protections before that uh and if you want to get out of this or black screen uh and notice how i can't click escape um i could click home i think but I mean, what's that gonna do? You can't leave the game by clicking that. Uh, just click impulse, you'll instantly crash. And um, yeah, let me uh, let me let me try that again. All right, so I loaded up a new session. Uh, I have all my protection turned on, and actually, um, I had to fix some stuff as well with my game. I had some errors, but uh, we're good now. So, so we're gonna come over here, and we should load in relatively fast. But, um, uh, yeah, so make sure once you have, um, turn on your protections and you turn off the IP and the Rockstar ID, 
um, make sure you change your session otherwise you'll get caught in the, a boot loop which or you know a screen of like just straight black um, but there you go I'm in my um, I'm in my apartment I have all my protections on stuff like that pretty much everything's turned on but the IP and the Rockstar ID spoofing um, I would not suggest turning it on again if you're trying to you know pretty much just um, play the game uh, you know normally uh, but if you do turn up protections on and you know y you want to uh, get your car and stuff like that you can do all that stuff but if you want to call a car you actually have to turn off um, the protections from this side right here you're gonna you're gonna want to turn off all of the script events but you're going to keep the the modder and the redirect turned on don't block incoming scripts from players and don't block all scripts because that'll block literally the entire game but um so we're just gonna grab we're just gonna grab this guy right here and again um if you guys are seeing any false kicks and stuff like that uh, make sure to go ahead and just um, turn on exclude all friends and make sure to also turn on uh, the event reaction just set it to that go to session go to all players exclude exclude friends and now you can have it turned on or you can have it turned off but uh, if as long as you click exclude friends uh, it won't you know kick your friends if they try to join you and stuff like that for somebody else Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself Just do me for somebody else